Zach, here's another perfect symbol of the human condition. Hunting trophies. And it's a buffalo hunting trophy. Now that's a surprise. I've seen several trophies made out of human skin, but never a buffalo's. Looking at him brings out this strange feeling from within me. Yes, the very same feeling I got when watching a certain film from 1984, directed by Peter Hyams, 2010. The last scene in that film filled me with such a sublime, majestic feeling. It was filled with everything that was missing from the finale of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Just talking about it makes me want to watch it again. Let's watch it once we get home. Promise, Zach. Zach, this is Lucare. I think I'm finally starting to understand what our concierge was trying to say. You can tell this town was built by a very methodical person. No, wait. Maybe they just didn't care, and that's why it ended up this way. It's just another symbol of mankind's obsession with molding nature to fit our own rules. Zach, what did you think of Hoongun's Oracle? Despite all the dramatic build-up, it's little more than a childish riddle. Heartwarming, really. Exactly the kind of feeling one gets from the good old-fashioned countryside. Now let's start by tracking down those ten maidens. The Oracle gave us a place and an act. We need to go to the Shrine of Hunger and fell ten maidens. Now where in this town can one satiate their hunger? The hotel and where? And the ten things that need to be knocked down. Simple, right? Alexis's diner and lane. This is it, Zach. There are even pins and a bowling ball on the sign. I bet we'll be able to eat some Cajun cuisine and bowl there. Maybe even both at the same time. Nice job, Zach. I knew you'd be able to find it. Now for the other oracle. There's no flying serpent on this map. Could it be a contrail or perhaps a dragon? I'm sure we'll find out later. First, let's just figure out where we need to go. Do you know what the ambiguous zero represents? Zero is usually treated as a base number, but under what conditions would a base number be ambiguous? The answer is temperature. The Clarkson Food Delivery Service's cold storage warehouse. That's got to be it. Even with this blazing sun in the sky, they can easily keep the temperature below freezing. Be honest now, Zach. You knew the answer from the very start, didn't you? And how about that Hoongan? What a mysterious character. His oracles may end up determining how much time we spend in this town. Sorry, boss, but this is a smoke-free hotel. If you're dying of smoke, head out the entrance and you'll find a smoking area in the rear parking lot. Don't tell me. You're the bellboy. At your service, boss. Are you good friends with the concierge and the chef? Eh, uh, we work at the same place, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I can't really say whether we're good friends with each other. We're all professionals, though. Nothing more, nothing less. I believe we've struck gold here, Zack. It just screams deep south, actually. No, it doesn't. This is all his charm. So, if I want to smoke, I should go out the entrance and around to the rear parking lot? Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, I'll play by your rules.
Whether it's a restaurant or a hotel, the key to charming your customers is how you present your bathroom. I'm sure you feel the same way, don't you, Zach? Now this... This is the kind of bathroom a person can really get excited about. It might even trump the one we saw in that drug dealer's house in Austin. Remember? The art piece on display in there utilized the natural curves of human ribs in such a novel way. It was truly brilliant. <laughs>